I'm here with Bill Gates at uh, Davos at an event to unveil a new initiative that you're excited about that's uh, dealing with vaccines. Tell us a little bit about the, the problem you're trying to solve and, and the solution that you've got to, to, work towards this, to, to work toward that solving here. Well, we always have to worry that a new epidemic is going to come along. Yeah. Uh, a flu epidemic that could go global, uh, something like the Ebola epidemic, which we were lucky was confined to a few countries, but still caused immense health and, and economic damage. And people often ask, well, can't we just generate a vaccine very quickly, get it out there? And unfortunately, it takes many years to do a completely new vaccine. The design, the, the safety reviews, Cost. the manufacturing, all those things uh, mean that uh, an epidemic can be very widespread before that tool would come along. And so after Ebola, the global health community talked a lot about this, uh, including an, a new type of uh, vaccine platform called DNA RNA mm. that should speed things along. And so uh, this Coalition for Epidemic Preparedness Initiative, CEPI, CEPI, uh, is uh, three countries, Japan, Norway, Germany, and two foundations, uh, Welcome Trust, uh, we work with on a lot of things on our foundation, Gates Foundation, uh, coming together to fund uh, uh, actually trying to use that platform and make uh, some vaccines, and so that would help us in the future. We're trying to do some kind of early intervention with vaccines, so to speak, identify promising candidates, get them some capital to help them develop, have a better awareness of what's out there, what needs to be out there. Right, so we'll pick some particular uh, threats like uh, MERS mm. uh, and see if we can't quickly get a vaccine for that. And then even if we don't pick uh, the, the problem, uh, the development of this platform and going through that will cut the lead time a lot. And if we can get it down below a year, uh, the quicker the better. Yeah. Um, we showed through some simulation that every week you gain can make a, a dramatic difference. What, 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 are you, what have you learned a little bit uh, watching this, thinking about the problems uh, through Ebola and vaccine about, uh, sorry, and Zika of our exposure to the risk of a pandemic, particularly a global pandemic? I mean, have you dug more deeply on this problem in general in the last few years and, and, and that's informing what you're doing here, I guess? Well, I think anybody who comes to global health learns about the 1917 Spanish flu epidemic that yeah. killed an unbelievable number of people. And there is a chance of something like that happening again. And that's, you know, a thousand times worse than Ebola. So there have been flu scares, and, but nothing at, at that level. Uh, but we always worry, <laughs> will that happen? And uh, the world isn't as prepared, not uh, going through simulations of these things, talk about it. No. Like all global problems, getting the right cooperation uh, of what, who should provide the resources and how would responsibility be assigned. It's not easy to solve, but the formation of CEPI shows that people care about this, and there's a piece of this that CEPI will make a big contribution to.